Hello. 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 Hi guys and welcome back to another Luca Vision video. Now in today's video I'm going to be looking at Norway's Melody Grand Prix 2020. I thought this would be a fun little series where I look at the national selection and the live final and have a look at the potential track that could be representing Norway at the 2020 contest. Now I won't be reacting to every single song in the semi-final. I'm going to be reacting to the winner of each semi-final and then all of the songs that have been pre-selected for the finals. And in today's episode I thought I'd react to Rayleigh and her song Wild. Now I know this has got Twitter talking and apparently Wild was a fan favourite. I am actually yet to hear it. This is going to be my very first reaction in front of you guys and I would have it no other way. Now Rayleigh won semi-final one of the I think five semi-finals before the final in a few weeks. Now there have been some songs that have already been pre-selected to go straight to the final and I'm not too sure why. I don't understand why it's not a general public thing and they have to be internally selected. I don't know if you guys could fill me in on that down below because I love learning all of this stuff. You really widen my Eurovision knowledge scope. So please tell me why some were pre-selected, I'd love to know. But like I said today we're looking at Wild and the song sounds great great just by the title. I hope I'm not umphing it up. It sounds like a bop. I might be mistaken, but it sounds like a good old bop. So within this series, you'll see me looking at Didrik and Emil, Ulrike Brandstrop, Akuvi, Sondre, and Tone Damley, as well as all of the other songs that are yet to qualify for the final. So enough jibber jabber. Let's have a look at Wild and Rayleigh. I'm so excited. Eurovision season is well and truly upon us. This is the bit that gets me all excited. Please let me know who your favourites for Norway are down below so far. Right, let's go. Oh, love that guitar. People tell me I'm a fish. I <laughs> don't fish. What? <laughs> I'm so sorry I had to turn that off. What did she just say? People tell me I'm a fish. <laughs> I have heard thus far. We've just started the song and I've had to turn it off. People tell me I'm a fish. What? Eh? I hope this makes sense. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to start that again. People tell me I'm a fish. This reminds me of Katy Perry. Rayleigh, do you ever feel like a plastic bag? No, but people tell me I'm a fish. What? Right, I'm so... <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, let's... No disrespect, that was just the most random lyric I have ever heard. Last year, Yuri Yus ran with the lions. This year, Rayleigh is a fish. Right, calm down. I do love a bit of fish though. Salmon all the way. Right, let's um, start that again and listen to Rayleigh the fish. As I said before, guitar strums are great. People tell me I'm a fish out of water, I don't fit. Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't take it seriously now. I'm the wrong chemical mix, like a monkey that ain't got no tricks. Hey, yeah. Mentioning lots of animals. Nothing wrong with my posture, just a beautiful monster. And there's no kind of remedy I need for being. I really don't like the lyrics. What? Lions now? What zoo is this? Oh, this is an ethnic bot. That drop! Oh my god! This is a bot. This is a great hook that an audience at Eurovision love. Swing your body body round and round. It's very Fuego and Replay from Cyprus. I feel like there's a bit of trend chasing copycat here. There's nothing wrong with that though. Just like her posture, there is nothing wrong with trend chasing because it's popular. You need to enter the competition to win, right? It's this build that is really contagious. And even though the lyrics are a little bit weird, 
they're easy to grasp. Lucky wild, yeah, lucky, lucky wild. Oh, and them dancing, she's got stage presence down to a T. That, no! Can't do it. She's got attitude. Great vocal connection. Did you hear that? I like this breakdown. She's not straying too far away from the song and she's keeping it in theme. Stage presence, staging great. I love that they're using a screen, fire all over the place. She's got a great tone to her voice. It's very unique. Quite Disney, but grown up Disney. Oh, I love this bit. She's got great moves as well. She likes it wild. Do you know what? That was actually a great little ethnic bop. Ethno bop, don't know what they call it. But that was a good little tune, wasn't it? It had so many little hooks in there that you can catch on to. And I've got to admit, I think listening to the songs on first impression, you've got little bits of fuego in there. There's also a bit of chameleon from Malta, Michaela last year. I think it's kind of like Chameleon, Fuego and Replay all gelled together and had a really weird Frankenstein baby and they made that song. But that's a recipe for success. That song was so catchy and that'll get you singing along. In terms of originality, it's been done. We've seen it before, but it is something that is great and will catch an audience, especially for the casual listener. And I think that will grow. The more you listen to it, the more that's going to get stuck in your head. I'm still listening to Replay from Tampta now. It's nearly a year old. It's still on my hit list. I also love the themes that she went with, the animal themes, the wild. I think they could really play up to that. If they won and they got through to Eurovision, they could really play on that theme. And she could be like Xena Warrior Princess or Dr. Doolittle. All of her dancers on stage could dress up as animals and she could have her very own zoo on stage. Imagine. And she goes up to a monkey and she starts talking to the monkey. And then she goes up to the lion and she starts talking to the lion because she likes it wild. And then people tell her she's a fish. <laughs> that is the best lyric ever. We use fish in Great Britain as an insult, like, oh, you're a bit of a wet fish, aren't you? That is just hilarious. But maybe she could dress up as a fish because people tell her she's one. So maybe, eh, 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 eh. However, looking at last year's entry, I feel like this is going down a more generic Fuego route than it was that kind of unique Kino vibe. They've seen what's been successful in previous years, like Fuego, like Replay, and they're kind of trying and going down that avenue. However, I feel like Kino was the way forward, and that was that was so diverse and really appealed to so many different people. And look how high it ranked in the televotes last year. No brainer. So closing statement, overall, I thought that was a great tune. I thought it was really contagious. There's a great hook in there. And I can't wait to see what other songs are gonna get through to Norway's final, but also look at the pre-selected songs as well. It will be interesting to see what has already been put through compared to what the public want to put through and see which one of those two categories wins overall. What did you think of Rayleigh? Do you like it wild or do you like it a little bit tamer? Please let me know your comments down below. I love reading all of your opinions and you give me so much scope and knowledge. I've said it once and I'll say it again. You guys are like Eurovision encyclopedias. If you are supporting Rayleigh and you're supporting Norway, please give this video a great big thumbs up so I can see how many of you are supporting Rayleigh. And before you shoot off anywhere, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you can keep up to date with my little Norway mini series. Who should I react to next? Who on the pre-qualification list is your favourite and I'll react to them next. Thanks for tuning in everybody, lovely to spend some time with you and you take care and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, bye!